Hi, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rich. If you've not seen the previous episode, we're about to hit 50 episodes, and I still gotta tell you to watch the previous episode. Come on, come on, get real. Anyways, welcome back. We left off with, uh, I don't even remember, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie to you, which is why you should totally watch the previous episode in case you didn't, because you won't know what is about to happen or how we got here if you don't. So, with that being said, let's get straight into this video. I'll return later that afternoon after her practice got out. Ryo was on her way out at the same time, so you happened to cross paths. We happened to cross paths. Not. What? What? Just sitting and lounging around. Oh, what would you like to have for lunch? I've got fried onigiri, if you're alright with it. Giggity. <laughs> if you've never had it, then perfect. I'll teach you all about the ultimate masterpiece that serves as the foundation of Japan's proud food modification culture. As long as we were going to the effort, we might as well eat outside. I took her somewhere nearby that was perfect for meals. But maybe it's a little chilly for this? Northern Europeans really were resilient to the cold. I steeped the fried onigiri I brought along in miso soup for my thermos. He brings out soy sauce's true worth, is a saying for a reason. <laughs> we spread out a blue tarp and killed some time together. Hmm. The dispensable moments in life, huh? A wonderful thing for sure. Oh, Ale, anything happened during fencing? Hi. Yes, the lesbians wouldn't leave me alone. Her tone of voice dropped a little. Yeah, since she was heading back home on the 26th. Being indecisive irritates me. But I could understand from time to time. If it's everything, I will not. I have something to say. I just remembered something. You guys know how last episode I was like tripping balls. If you saw the episode, you know what I'm talking about. I was tripping balls because I got bit by uh, a mosquito on the foot. Let me remind you. It wasn't on top of the foot. It was on the bottom of my foot. And so it was very annoying. It was very, very annoying. But anyways, so after I recorded that day, I was watching Markiplier. And then all of a sudden, there's a mother freaking mosquito like up in my face, like trying to like get some more and i'm like no 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 i and then and then i lose it i don't know where it went and then i look like all over the place and then i found it somehow on the floor and then i'm like great i killed it but here get this it's now nighttime i'm getting ready to go to bed and then i'm falling asleep and just as i'm falling asleep i hear something that resembles resembles i don't even know if that's the freaking word but sounds like a freaking mosquito in my ear like mm, i'm like <gasps> i get up like very very mad because i'm about to fall asleep it's late i need to wake up at 4 30 i'm up past my bedtime looking for a dang mosquito and guess what there was no mosquitoes at all i was just hearing things and so i'm like could it be my electronics? Because I have a, I have an air purifier. You know the air thingies that like suck in the dirt and stuff that you breathe and all that jizz. Jizz? Oh no, not not jizz. I have that thing going off. I have my fan on blast, and then, then there's the AC running. So there's a lot of like devices going off and stuff. So I'm like, okay, theory. Maybe it's the electronics. So I turn off everything, and I'm like, huh? I don't hear anything anymore. So I'm like, okay, it's just the electronics. I turn everything back on again. I'm getting ready to go to bed. And then I hear 
mm, in my ear still. I'm like, bro, where's the dang mosquito? I cannot find the mosquito. But long story short, there's no mosquito. I'm traumatized. Every night for the past, I don't know, three, four nights, I hear a mosquito and there's no mosquito. <laughs> I just had a vent real quick, you know? I hate mosquitoes. I'm on TikTok looking at like people massacre or do some like very deviant things to mosquitoes. Like I saw someone like tie a mosquito into like a, a firecracker and blow it up and send them to the stratosphere. I saw a mosquito get uh, burned alive. I saw a mosquito get hot wax of a candle thrown on it and then it just fried as well uh <laughs> there's just so many mosquito torture videos on tiktok and i am not disappointed at all i highly recommend looking for them on tiktok if you're on tiktok look for mosquito torture or whatever it's worth it you deserve it compared to yesterday the weather was nice and clear but the wind was strong to make up for it if this turned into a squall it seemed like it might snow there also wasn't much hope of the temperature rising the only thing to do on days like these is to hold up a roof. Oh, I can't even read anymore because I'm tripping about mosquitoes. <clears throat> Let me try again. Ready? The only thing to do on days like these is that hole up in your room. Hide in bed and wait it out. Oh, come on. It's freaking cold. <sighs> if you'll snuggle up to me, then I'll work up the courage to get out of bed, even if it's cold. Bro, she got the Orchata cannons. Those things will get you very warm very quickly. But if you snuggle up to me, that might actually backfire and make me want to drag you back into bed. Okay. <laughs> oh god. No, I wish it was still for a longer time. Hey there, Merry Christmas. Christmas. The population density was increasing ever so slightly in the deserted dormitory. You went home, but now you're back? The boarders who received Sylvie's invitation had to be using the place to store their luggage. She said she told everyone, so that'd be around 300 people. I wonder how many will be there. Where'd you even come from? You think so? I would bet around half of the invitees would actually show. Invitations from princess were just that big of a deal. <laughs> It had been some time since I'd seen her don the face of the knights, Captain, and she looked concerned at that. Now, now, have confidence in how peaceful Japan can be and leave the rest to security. Oh, should we be going? Not another... Okay, thank God. I'm so tired of the, the King Koi Lover thingies, and then it's loud, and then the... Just... It has no right being this loud. Alright, reminder... Drink your water. Delicate like dry and crust. The party wasn't until later that night, so we had plenty of time to kill. For now, the fencing club was having a meetup, so we headed to the academy. I can't believe you've got practice all the way up until Christmas. If you're Mexican, you're celebrating both days. That goes double for Christmas Eve. It's a romantic holiday. Right, got it. Europeans are really fuzzy about that kind of thing, huh? In Japan, the 24th was largely considered to be Christmas Eve and a day for lovers to be super mushy. Oh yeah, sexy time. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Uh, huh? <laughs> we weren't able to reserve the martial arts dojo today. There weren't that many members gathered either. Less than 10. Oh god, will they ever go away? Things seem to be going pretty well for them though. These girls squealed like crazy over Ella on a regular basis, but a bunch of them actually did have boyfriends.
if I were to wager, these two just might wind up the sort of thirst dirty. That's what I was about to say, thirsty. Thirty somethings who, after going through many ordeals, eventually found themselves checking in at a wedding only to get drunk on sparkling wine and wine that there were no good men in the world. Aye, aye. Ah, yes, those are the best kind of women. Being sarcastic, by the way. Yeah, I saw her off. Now then, I was free until tonight. What do you want? Ah, tomorrow's the deadline, so please talk to Ellie about it instead. Ellie needed to decide whether or not she'd continue as a member of the fencing club, and it was clear how worried their advisor was. I brushed her off since it wasn't my choice to make. Yeah, dude, like, leave me alone. I brushed her off since it wasn't my choice to make. Now then, as for me... Oh. Oh, what? What are you doing? Oh, God. It was that middle-aged reporter from before. He had this... His camera, but he couldn't get in through the school gate, so he was littering around instead. Well, littering around instead? Just some long distance running drills, apparently. Taking back shots of the. What? Yeah, that sounds pretty skeevy. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, Siri, what does skeevy mean? She said ski. Who said vitamin D sting couldn't be educational? Defined skeevy. Unpleasant, squalid, or distasteful. Wow, you learn something new every day. I hope that he was a man who could keep things separate. Now then. So, you're pursuing Ella again? Should have gotten some decent shots of her at the last competition, so I had thought the matter was done and over with. But as I thought that to myself. <laughs> フェンシング界期待の新生であるフエンさんとカバレロさんのライバル関係は今後のスポーツ業界でも盛り上がること間違いなしだし。はあ？あ、そうそう。これこの前の試合の記事が載ってるゴーね。後でコモンの先生に
No way we're pa pushing that in the past. But yeah, I had been overly cautious, but if this was how these photos were going to be used, maybe I should actually have seen this in a positive light. Besides, this is, oh, I get it. It's because Elle is not Japanese. So, now it's good, but in 2020, it's the most important part of Japan. Well, that's fun too, but... For example, if you're in another country, you're trying to help the young people, you're trying to help the young people. No, I don't think that's good for the young people in Japan. Ha 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 ha. I largely tuned the old man out at that point. He doesn't sound that old. I was engrossed in the magazine he'd handed me instead. The picture he'd taken of Ellie came out so cool and worked in the magazine perfectly. More importantly... Oda. Hey mommy. Hey, practice over? Hi. Oh, this route's about to end. I could feel it. Well... Hmm. Let's not eat. These parties don't come around often, so I'd rather eat there. <laughs> or to spend a little time together instead? Mm -hmm. Rather than my place, I picked here to kill some time. Talk about cold. The temperature had tanked and it was awfully windy to boot. But to make up for it... <laughs> isn't it? This was the perfect spot to enjoy the scenery as we watched the sunset in the lake. We were seated at the table Sylvie always used. It was usually dressed up in a white tablecloth, but this table was somewhat worn down. Oh well, it was plenty just for a break. The academy roof would honestly be better, but that spot was Ria's. Better not. The view was plenty gorgeous from here. How the freak did you know? Oh, yeah. He gave me this. I ended up bringing it with me. I really need to give it to that advisor tomorrow. Handed her the magazine. Ellie, you knew? That reporter said he's written an article for a sports magazine. Oh, she. Whoops. Apparently, she had none. If he'd been a reporter for a third rate tabloid like I thought, Ella never would have let him cover the competition. But. Bro is still kind of weird. I don't care, dude. I don't care. It's legit. Bro's kind of weird. Yeah. Ella and I were both equally satisfied with the article. Hey, Ella. Hi. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh, I was about to say. Yo, they doing it again? This Finally, a full-on, like, body shot and everything. Jeez. The sun was in the perfect spot as it slowly sank into the horizon. Its position allowed the sky to turn into a gorgeous shade of gold. Yeah, back when we first met. It was our golden time. One of my friends told me about it. They also said it's best to strike a good balance between the essential and dispensable parts of your life. I agree with that sentiment. ですね。私も最近そう思うようになりました。人生にはしなければならないことと、そうではないことがあって、そうではないことも。I hadn't chosen this place for any particular reason. Still, made for a romantic Christmas. My friend said this too. The time you spent living should be radiant. Hmm. Precious? I'd never perceived Ria as fitting into such an exaggerated category. She was a childhood friend who happened to be around, who I could have ordinary conversations with. That was all. Yeah, she was important. You're right, precious friend. <laughs> Ella quickly closed the magazine. 
Bro, it's clearly open still. I wondered if Ella had already made her decision. Since when? There was no telling. That was only for her then. The one thing I could say was... Just because you want to shine doesn't mean it will happen or that it'll be easy. Be golden, I mean. But I do believe it's important to set your sights on something extraordinarily meaningful. Something I couldn't do. Alright bro, you don't need to bash yourself. That was unnecessary. Don't ruin the moment. Ella held my hand tightly. I had been avoiding the subject, but Ella knew my circumstances. But that discussion was for another day. Hold up, did he ever talk about the baseball incident with her? I don't remember. He probably didn't, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I do not remember. If you remember, let me know, because that's pretty important. At least to him, because clearly it affected him a lot, even if somebody else looks at it and is like, bro, it's not that big of a deal. Well, to him it was. But if that's your goal, I'll support you. I'll be right there cheering you on at your side. And then they did sexy time. Yeah, that would have been a nice way to end it too. Don't worry though, it's almost over. Oh. Whoa. Oh! Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what my mom is thinking in the other room. Like, dude, is he okay? <laughs> no, mom. <laughs> I'd heard she'd been invited to a buffet party, but never thought she'd show up to entertain a bunch of students. She had really come. Maria Bishop. <laughs> oh, for a sec. I forgot she existed. Whoops. Whoops. I'd imagine there were tons of business perks in store if they could make friends with sort of things. Of course. But by the way, uh, M -M 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 Maria san, um, do you remember me? I, uh, a while back at the school, um, I could hardly speak. I was so nervous. Ooh, Maria's gaze was icy. Calm down, me. Please. <laughs> Oh. What? They quickly whispered something to one another. Hmm? Oh, my hand. She squeezed my hand. I know Ella would be fuming right now. Is she even with him? I don't even know. Hi. And off they went. Yeah, she's a little spicy. Even she caught on, bro. Oh my god, Odo's a big idiot. Whoa, 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 Maria. Maria squeezed. Squeezed my di hand, I mean. Oh yeah, she noticed. She noticed. I took a quick break over in the corner. <laughs> ah, Ellen. Listen to this. I just got to meet Maria Bishop over there. <laughs> <laughs> she does not look excited. <laughs> look at her face. Only for them or chat the cannons? Huh? <laughs> With that said, Ella headed back along the wall. What about you, Ella? Actually, what have you been doing this whole time? She had been a wallflower this entire party. Look at her face, dude. You're not a bodyguard today, right? The black suits in charge of security had been covering every millimeter of the venue along with the waiters. I was about to say waitresses, I don't know why. For some time now. And what's with your outfit? I had assumed she would wear a dress given this was a special party, but she was in her ordinary formal night attire. I mean, it did suit her well enough on its own, but yeah. 
Parties like these don't come around every day, you know? Oh. <clears throat> ah, yes. Another of the same. Where else did we see this scene? Was it in Sylvie's room? Yeah, right. I believe so. The musical performance had begun. Sylvie was running her fingers happily across the keyboard, the same as ever paired with Maria Bishop. This was a buffet style buffet style party, so we really hadn't been given any instructions asking us to be quiet, but everyone automatically listened intently. It wasn't because it was anything world shattering or otherwise. It was a tune that flowed comfortably from start to finish. Yeah, it was enjoyable. I'm having fun too. Much much. As expected, all of the food offerings were crazy delicious, and I greedily shoveled it all in my mouth. Pause. The concert reached an intermission, and Sylvie and Maria got down off the stage after about 15 minutes. And then... Hmm. What's going on? The party goers, who had been scattered throughout the venue, subtly crowded along the walls. There's even one of those. Whoa, my voice just went... <laughs> There's even one of those? European parties are amazing. Now that space had been made in the center, several black suits danced their way out. I guess everyone was free to take part. Even some of the students were in the mix. Ah, Kikuchi was there. He could dance? Amazing. Uh, I can't dance. That'd be me. <clears throat> ah, yes. Literally, Sylvia's root, but like with Ellie. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Obviously, it was different, right? But, like, the ending is very, very similar to Sylvia's end. I got dragged out with it. Now that I was out there, it'd be lame to back down without doing anything. Um, Ella, how do I do this? Okay. I did as she told me and moved forward when she pulled me by the hand and backed up when she pushed. <gasps> I couldn't tell on my own, but everyone else seemed to think I was only my own. Most impressive of all. Oh my god, Mina. I just realized it's been a while since we heard from her, too. Jeez. Thank you, Mina-chan. Back when she tutored me on dining etiquette and the like, she also taught me the fundamentals of dance. As long as I put the basics to good use, quiet songs were in a cinch. I mean, it kind of looks like a dress. But like with armor. Uh, <laughs> well, it suits you, shouldn't it be fine? Ella looked rather stilted for a moment in the middle of our dance. But I had gotten a knack for it by then, so we didn't lose our form. However, the dance seems pretty tough, huh? Endurance wise. The backs of my thighs and beneath my butt had started to feel heavy. That's weird. I'm pretty confident in my level of exercise. Uh, really? I'm getting rusty. I was so confident in my stamina too. Talk about a letdown. <laughs> oh no. Dude, I really be dropping everything. And I was not fidgeting this time. I just dropped it. Whoops. Sorry guys. You deserve better. Hmm. Now, this late? Eh? I had zero confidence I could handle more intense songs, so we ducked out when they were about to switch over. Then, Mo! I was exhausted. The second we got off the dance floor, my thighs gave out to me. I regained my composure quickly enough, but. Oh. Oh, sorry. 
I bumped into someone who'd been close by. Oh no, I had to be her too. That made me feel super guilty on its own, but then oh. I realized it was a yaka, so I didn't care. Oh. Whoa. The drink in her hands got all over my pants. You nailed me below the belt perfectly. I mean, I knew that. Sure. It's just so crazy to me. It's so crazy to me to think that if you only played one of these routes and never played any of the other routes in this game, you wouldn't know that Ayaka was a big old freak. Like, she, she likes butt stuff. That's crazy. <laughs> it's not actually crazy, but it's just crazy that it went from, like, a very hateful relationship to, like, all of a sudden they're, like, doing butt stuff. Like, that's that's crazy. That's crazy of a change is what I'm trying to say. Next came December 25th, Christmas. I thought I was going to end there. Huh. Interesting. In Japanese custom, it was a day for couples to be lovey-dovey with each other. Unfortunately, the day was likely to end without us having the spare time to do so. On it. Ella hadn't gotten ready for her imminent trip home the following day, so she had spent since the morning playing catch-up. After she finally had everything in order by that afternoon, she had to go to the academy. There's something up at the fencing club after all. You just can't catch a break, even though it's Christmas, can you? Well, yeah, but... The fact Ella had spent the entire week leading up to her trip home on me, when she was rightly busy with guard duty, was something I should be grateful for. I feel like I just saw a mosquito. I really hope I'm tripping. See what I mean? I'm trauma. Mm -hmm. Now that sounds kind of not good. What? That's kind of crazy. No, don't do that. I had to reread that because I was like, wait. Excuse me. Did I read that right? All right. Let's make it snappy. Go, go, go. We made it to the academy. With that said, there wasn't much to do. We headed to the fancy club, which was now even more deserted than the day before. Just to tell them that. It was a huge mess with the club members all mobbing her after the fact. This naturally went for the other members, but Ella herself looked delighted to have finally made the decision. There was only one person who wasn't overjoyed. I wouldn't go so far as to say she looked displeased, though. Yes. Are you not happy? So we had wanted Ella to continue badly enough to set things in motion before, but so we seemed unhappy now that Ella had made up her mind. That's crazy. I see. For her to continue fencing into the next year, she would need to fully dedicate herself to the sport. Someone devoting themselves to another pursuit couldn't be the head of a princess's guards. And yet you still gave Ella a push forward. You're amazing, Sylvie. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cool. So we left the dojo. Ella passed by and made her way in. Oh, just now. She had left. I signaled as much with my eyes. Hmm. Yeah. Ella had to be dealing with the same conflict and feeling so we had at the moment. She looked relieved. I felt a little lonely. 
Too bad, so sad. That just came with the territory. The master servant relationship they had must have been special to the two of them. To these two, who were once sisters, now knight and princess. It was such an incredibly special thing. Grab. Ella caught something that had been throwing her way out of nowhere. A rapier? What the heck is going on? So we came in swinging at the same time. Ella quickly drew the sword and stopped her bow. No, we don't need the music. <laughs> Silver slash from the right top and left. Demonstrative drills? Hadn't I done these before? If I remembered right. Ella had lost in all of their matches before, huh? <laughs> Ella returned her strikes. Sylvia wasn't one to be taken lightly either and easily stopped her attacks. They continue to entertain themselves with their game. Neither I nor the club members got in their way. This is the first time I feel like we actually see them like genuinely like messing around or something, right? Like they're just like very formal, they've always just talked normally, but like actually do something like this? That's that's a sight. Neither I nor the club members got in their way. That was how it should be. Nobody could get between the bond they shared. As they furiously crossed their blades. Mmm, I like that. <clears throat> and we're gonna skip all of that. Hopefully the credits aren't different. <laughs> Great. Yeah, not again. Not three times in a row. Huh? Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> Your nerves wore you out. She looks so much, so much nicer with her hair natural like that. It looks really nice. Yeah, it happens. We're nearly to the next stop in Shinyokohama. And then it's about another 20 minutes to Tokyo Station. Yeah. Are you all ready? What are we doing? I looked toward the bag in the overhead storage. It's filled with fencing equipment that couldn't quite fit inside and was sticking out a little. The big event was finally here. Ella had raced her way here ever since that day three years ago. Three years ago. She would take on the world just like the articles that said. You bet. Well, I'll be cheering on Japan at the same time then. As a spectator, I was feeling pretty excited. Yeah, give it all you got. Wait, wait. Our newly wed life together? They're married or getting married? I don't understand. Okay, cool. Doesn't matter, they're married. What? Terrifying. I will still root for you then. Ella was fired up. As long as that was true, I would support her. But... Mount Fuji was no longer in view, with everything outside of the window becoming more rural by the minute. We had made it to Yokohama, just a bit further to Tokyo. 
The year 2020 and powerhouse athletes from around the world had gathered in Tokyo. Yeah, that day Ria had told me this. Life is short and our time is finite. So if you don't search for this moment, this golden time, then what's the point? I had found it. I wanted to cheer her on as much as I could. I wanted to walk her. I wanted to walk through these simmering times together. I'll always be with you. Oh, we're getting sappy. I like that. Do your best, Dylan. Hi. Aw, she's excited about it. Did she win? Are y'all gonna tell us or you're just gonna. You're just leaving us in the cliffhanger? Oh my god. This game sucks for that. Wow. Picture perfect, Dylan's route is done. Wow, just like that. They couldn't even have given us like a little. Oh, she won or. Oh, she got whooped. We'll just never know if she's the best or not. All right. <clears throat> well, for sure she was going far because uh, clearly she was very, very, very talented. There's six minutes and 30 seconds left of the recording time. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to start the next route. <laughs> we're going to start the next route. Uh, which route are we doing next? I don't even remember how we were doing this. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Uh... <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Uh... Let me make a choice. Please, 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 please. Oh, we're almost done, we're almost done. Almost choice time, yay. <clears throat> You know what was funny? Thinking Sylvia was gay. I thought she was gay for a sec. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Oh, Maria is not on here yet. Ah, so we have to do stupid Akane first. <laughs> Sorry, I know. There's probably like some Akane fans and I'm over here like crapping over <laughs> I don't actually hate her. But there are moments where I'm like, she's kind of like... She kind of irritates. She kind of annoys me sometimes. Like she, she seems like a very. She's such a sweet character, but like she just irritates me sometimes. I'm not excited about her route. I'm gonna be real. But hopefully, hopefully at the end of this route, at the end of her route, I'll be like, okay, it was a dang good route. I can't believe already that we're already three fifths done with this game. We've really been on the grind. All right, too much talk. Let's get started. <laughs> そう Month had already passed since I enrolled at Noble Academy. Sorry, what were we doing? Yeah, good work. Akuna Chan had once again roped me in the do and radio calisthenics again today. And I had become routine to talk to her like this after we were done. Yeah, it's not bad at all. The early morning air was a little chilly. Although I was huddled up at the start, I warmed up in no time once I started moving. If it were in the middle of winter, I'm sure I would have stayed in bed no matter how many times you'd probably try to tear me out of it. It's a lot harder to wake up during winter because you're very comfortable and warm in your bed. I could confirm as someone that wakes up very early every day. You're not wrong. But still. By the way, what about summer? Does it actually? I do not know that. Huh. She was gung ho year round, wasn't she? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I've heard that somewhere before. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, that's right. 
I do get that, I guess. Every day? Skipping look to be out of the question as long as Mina-chan was keeping an eye on me. I bet she'd say, It is appalling to give up on something midway. Another reason skipping looked impossible was Akane-chan's enthusiasm. She was even more enthusiastic now than before our survival experience during the power outage. You know though, radio calisthenics really takes me back. I think I last did them when I moved up in the middle school. Mm, it wasn't like I never exercised. Aren't radio calisthenics something you only do during sports meets or like what elementary schoolers do during summer break? It was like the various stamp rallies you'd find in the park or at an elementary school first thing in the morning and you could trade those stamps for stationery. They're not embarrassing or anything now that I'm older, but I most likely stick to light stretches or otherwise when I do get around to exercising. It is an easy environment to gather together in. Yeah, radio calisthenics seemed like the sort of exercise you didn't do alone. Maybe it was because it was often treated like a group activity when you're younger? Hmm? Huh, really? That was unexpected. Although everyone seemingly woke up at the crack of dawn when I was in elementary school to try and earn the perfect attendance award. Ah, you do see news like that these days, don't you? There were even sports clubs that had prohibited talking out of consideration for the neighborhood. Yeah, I bet they wouldn't be viable that way. Not even pros can manage to play by relying solely on eye contact, even if you told them to. True enough. What good does stifling around do, huh? I did have my share of thoughts on that subject, but I shoved them deep down in my heart so they wouldn't show on the surface. Really? That makes sense. Someone had laid the groundwork and it became what it was today. Essentially, they'd started doing radio calisthenics in the morning at some point and they kept doing them to this day since nobody would ever stop them. There's much I could imagine. I bet started off with two or three people, but then more and more students took part as time went on. That was the impression I got from watching the boarders who had jumped right in. Hmm? What's up? Thankful? Because you love exercise? Good friends, huh? Yeah, that is something to be happy about. Yes. Seeing such a genuine smile nearly made my own lips curl upward as well. Shooting a shot? <laughs> what do you mean by? I asked after hearing that specific comment. She's funny.
No, it is fun. Miranda and Rhea aside, it was because of Akuna chan that I was able to have casual conversations with the other dorm residents. Ah, that's right. I completely forgot about that. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, yeah. Man, how did I forget that? Eesh. That's what happens when you beat down on her too much. The very great feeling I got from exercising first thing in the morning may have been a big part of it, too. And for whatever reason, it lets me with the sense that today would be a great day. <laughs> you know what? I can confirm that when you do exercise in the morning, you do kind of feel like energetic and woken up. And also I get like the sense of like, oh, today is going to be a great day. I don't know what it is, but it does help. We're going to call it right here. All right. Wow. To be honest, I thought I was going to be a little more sad about the whole, um, let's see, the whole LA route ending, but to be honest i'm not you know it's like i said an episode or two ago it probably was the fact that i took a break for like a month that i kind of just processed the other thing and i got over it because normally i'd be pretty torn up when things are over and that's just the person that i am especially when i get very invested in a story you know or in a video game the story is like fire and i get very invested and then it ends and then i'm like man this sucks well for some reason it was not like that but if i had to guess i think that's probably why because of that monthly break that month break but it was a good it was a good route it was a good route overall i am also a little sad to think that we're almost done with the game but you know what it's for the best we have a lot of stuff to get through still you know on the other channel we started a lot of games like the rpg game seven mysteries uh omori there's aria story there's project cat i've been seeing updates on that game project cat and i've had my honor my eye on it for a long time but i don't think they have actually like released the next chapter so we could work on the other stuff in the meantime but like you know as soon as i'm done with these visual novels obviously i'm gonna start some other ones and hopefully they're not as long because i would also like to do other stuff i'm talking about the rpg games like for the other channel you know because right now in the other in the second channel in vitamin d i am currently playing spider-man 2 and i have been giving my undivided attention to it and because of that, I have not been doing anything else. So I have a ton of unplayed games. You know, the one game I'm never, ever probably going to touch again is Resident Evil 7. I just, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. I don't know what it is. But I just, I couldn't get into it like that. I couldn't. But I beat Resident Evil 4. I think I've talked about that before. Like the remake, it was so good. It was so good. I'm going to bring it on the second channel too. So I'm very excited. But obviously, of course... As soon as I'm done with Spider-Man 2, I'm going to knock out all the stuff that I started and failed to complete on the second channel, Vitamin D. So please, please stay tuned. The link is in the description for that. I would appreciate it if you checked it out. But if not, that's also fine. You know, I am very grateful nonetheless to have even one person watching, you know. The way I look at it too, and I know I've talked about me not being the biggest or whatever, but the way I look at it also is, you know, the, the 15, the 20, the 30, the 40, even up to the 60 people that have seen the videos or even occasionally they hate like hundreds, right? I always think when we look at it from like the YouTube thing, like as a YouTube video, you're like, huh, it doesn't have a lot of views. But then I'm like, nah, if I had 100 people in my house, that'd be kind of crazy. I don't think there'd be enough room for that. But that is quite a bit of people, you know, and I would imagine everyone starts somewhere and, you know, the the big fish have confirmed that at some point they were there as well so maybe someday but it's not really something that i think about a lot like before before the thing is <clears throat> obviously the economy sucks in the u.s <laughs> and i would who would not love to get paid to do something that they love to do in this case for me it would be the video making the video game making you know talking to people and you know nerding out and stuff it's so fun to me it's very 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 fun for me and it's very so very fulfilling for me so i'm like man it'd be so nice that was a thought at the time but now i'm like man if i'm just worried about that and not actually enjoying the journey leading up to that and if it happens you know if i'm not enjoying the journey up until that happens if it happens i'm gonna be miserable until that happens like no like why did i start doing this in the first place well because i got inspired as a kid you know coming home from school going straight to youtube seeing all my favorite youtubers and that's 
why I wanted to do it in the first place, not because I wanted to live off of it or get money. Like, how awesome would that be? Yes, as an adult, yes, of course. You need to support yourself. There's bills. There's a lot of stuff going on, right? And money is very, very crucial. Or take out the very. Money is crucial, you know, especially when we live in a world where we're in a country, at least for me, where things are very expensive, that's a big fat plus, of course, you know, also because like I've talked about before as well, I work outside and it gets really hot out here and it's very heavy work. You know, of course that would be the dream, you know, just be home as an introvert. I love being home, being home, recording from my room, you know, and working of the safety and comfort of my home without having to leave the house. Like how awesome is that? Yeah. But for now, it's just going to be a hobby and I'm enjoying it. And I've learned to enjoy it more the whole process, the journey of the going and stuff. Although the growth, again, it hasn't been the quickest. And that's fine. I don't care. I'm genuinely enjoying it a lot more now. And that's the last thing in my mind. So all that to say, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. You know, even if you invest a time, like a minute, even if you invest like 30 seconds, a minute, five, 10 minutes, I'm very grateful. Thank you. But that's enough for me yapping. I am quite the yapper from time to time. I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi. This is now the end of Ella Brew. It might hit me later, you know, like, oh no, Ella, it's over. It was such a nice development. You know, she really went, it's very similar to the Mako thing where she was master and servant or master and slave, whatever. <laughs> and now she's like totally her own person. And I really like that thing that she said at the end, Sylvia. Where she was like, now we're together because we want to, not because we have to. And that's, I feel like that was such a powerful line. Because literally, Ella was just, oh, Sylvia, 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 Sylvia. Like, she was nothing but Sylvia. It was always about Sylvia. But now it's like, they're hanging out because they generally want to hang out. And it's not because they have to or because her safety is at stake. That was nice. I, I really like that. That was awesome. But <clears throat> I wanted to say one more thing, too. I don't genuinely hate Akane. She does annoy me at times. I will not lie. She does annoy me at times, but I don't actually hate her. I just like crapping on her for the bit <laughs> just because it's funny. I don't know. To me, it's funny. And if I think it's funny, I don't care. It's funny. All right. <laughs> but I'm sure her route, you know, Yuzusoft has had a good rep with the visual novels. I'm sure her route will be good or at least entertaining i don't know i don't know what to expect but i feel like based on her personality it's going to be very interesting because she's a she seems to be a very timid person a very joy person joyful person but also kind of shy that's that's at least what she gives off to me you know we don't really know much about her but we will and i'm really looking forward to it her route you know as much as i crap on her on the bases as much not even as much as ayaka right but i still crap on her <laughs> But yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm done. Thank you so much once again for watching. I appreciate it. And if you made it this far, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, guys.